the official wizard of New Zealand axed from payroll. Guys, he lost his job. Ian Brackenbury Channel, known as the Wizard in Residence, will be officially terminated from Christchurch's payroll in December 2021. The state has employed him since 1998. In an interview, Lynn uh, McLeland, the council assistant chief executive, said that the council had met with the wizard and sent him a letter thanking him for his services to Christchurch over the past decades. McLeland explained that the city council is gearing towards a new and different promotional programs to reflect diverse communities and showcase a modern city. The wizard is known for his activism in anti-government rants. Channel, known as the Wizard of New Zealand, carries the title not just as a fancy label, but in all his legal documents. Even in his passport, Channel is identified as the wizard. <laughs> This decision received mixed feedback on social media. So it's, I, it's, I, we clapped in the beginning and I'm not happy that he lost his job, but I was happy about the opportunity to talk about New Zealand having an official wizard, to be honest, what or they did. That mean? What does that mean? What is his job? And how, how he was he employed by in the, the church? City to uh -huh. provide various services relating to the casting of spells, um, public performance, and um, wizardry. Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't under, like you need to you need to step back a little bit and give me some context, okay? <laughs> is this a government job? Um it was it wasn't like there was a vacancy for for this position and then he filled it like this guy has been a wizard in new zealand since the late 70s and in the early 80s he was declared a living work of art not as a performance artist he is a living work of art huh. and then the prime the prime minister in the 90s made an official position for him and he receives about i think it was um about sixteen thousand pounds a year so he's not like making a ton of money doing this at all um for what reason but, for what purpose so the government paid him yes for what reason to do what is the benefit to the taxpayer to be the the wizard the local wizard okay all right so <laughs> As like as something for people just to talk about and have fun with, like lift is kind of like a, I mean, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just because I'm surprised and I don't understand it. I'm not saying that this is stupid. Okay. Like me, is this like something that just lifts people's spirit and it just like creates a sense of like, oh yeah, we have a wizard and it brings, you know, it just, I, I think it could be utility in that. And you know? like, I, I don't know. Right. Is that like the, the idea? Like, People thinking like, oh yeah, look at that. That's our wizard. And like just brings kind people of. together. Wait, yeah? can I show a short segment of um okay, this before video you do. about him that I think like captures it all? I love it so all right, much. Sure. Go ahead, go ahead. I love how Music Guy is saying, You're an unemployed wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a no. lot of interviews with him. Like um <laughs> he had an apprentice who was apprenticing to be like the next wizard of New Zealand. Um, so here we go. Okay. Now this is where the interesting part comes in. By 1974, he was already trying to be a wizard and already did some weird stuff. For example, he was appointed by a university in Australia that he was a shaman and a living work of art. So he was already developing his wizard skills. But still, he was a shaman, which is definitely a lower rank than an official wizard. I feel like a wizard has a few shamans who are apprentices, and they're like, Hey, Master Wizard, what are you- Don't disturb me, I'm making a spell! So back to the story, Ian was trying to get to the top, but it was still a long way until there. His first moves made in New Zealand were when he began speaking on a ladder in Cathedral Square dressed as a full wizard. And New Zealand didn't like this at first, and even wanted to arrest him. But he became so popular that he was a tourist attraction. 
So the square became a public speaking area. His wizard skills were rising. He was doing rain dances, speaking in public, and threw philosophic bombs. He even kind of got birth from a giant egg. But that wasn't very impressive, to be honest. Like, he just kicked the egg from inside until it broke and then got out and shouted. Of course, this was done with the help of the mayor of Christchurch. So this guy was kind of becoming an official thing, and in 1982, he became the Wizard of Christchurch and an official living work of art. And in 1990, ladies and gentlemen, he was appointed the official wizard of New Zealand by Mike Moore, the prime minister of New Zealand at that time. And this is 100% real. Look at his driver's license. This is license. my favorite part. Wizard. Look at Wizard V. <laughs> so, he's, so his first name is V and his last name is Wizard? I guess on his driver's license, like, he uh. has a real name. I mean, that is his real name, officially his name. It just gets better look. The. That's his official name now. Even his passport says that he's an official wizard. His position says the <laughs> wizard of New Zealand. Like, I love this so much. That's amazing. Um, now, what does an official wizard okay, do? Well, according to the official proclamation, he has to protect the country to bless new enterprises, protect the population, and most importantly, to design and promote a new universe that puts New Zealand on top of the world both physically and metaphysically. Remember, this proclamation was written by the Prime Minister. So maybe one night he was like, Aw oh man, New Zealand is cropped from maps way too often. So maybe this wizard guy will solve it and place New Zealand in the center of the world. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. But they fired him. And now, now I'm so invested in all of this. Now, at first I was like, why do you have a wizard? And now I'm so invested in this. Now I'm like, why did you fire the poor wizard? Why did you get rid of the wizard? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, I completely switched sides in the course of this, but go on. It, because basically they, they want to take the tourism into a whole, they want a modern, like direction oh. it's it's not that there is a vacancy there is no vacancy it's that they have terminated the position altogether but what is he gonna do now like what is gonna be his purpose his i don't know meaning he's, he's kind of old he's like in his 80s i think so just okay um, then why couldn't you just wait a couple of years before he dies instead of like depressing like would this be the last thing he like do you want him to go knowing that he was supposed to be the wizard and now he died not being the wizard? Like, can you not, like, he, if he's 80 something, I'm now depressed. I'm depressed. Like, what couldn't I you know. just wait a couple? Of, couldn't you just wait like another four years so he, he dies a happy man, dies as the wizard of Australia? <laughs> like, on New Zealand, sir. Um, By the way, I was, I, I got confused at first because I wasn't listening. Uh, just for the other people that might confuse because Christchurch is a city. I thought like he's, <laughs> I thought he's like being, I thought we were talking about an actual church. Like he was. Like, oh, so yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have to like, not everybody knows where, where the hell Christchurch is. Okay. So we have to clarify that. All right. Um, um, yeah, but well. no, so they, they, there's been, I've seen um, petitions online so people, uh, I have friends who are from Australia who are like posting petitions to bring back the wizard. They don't want him axed from the payroll. They want him to keep his job. And um, so there, but there are some people who are saying like, oh, it's fine that he got canceled after like doing this for so many years, partially because he's made some like problematic statements about women. Um, but I think because he's a wizard, I find it kind of quaint. <laughs> Uh, both both Reza, both Reza and D at the same time asked if he has a pension. Is, is, is there a wizard pension? I don't know. Um, I mean, he still remains a living work of art. Um, and they were, he was asked if he would curse the city council that terminated his position. And he said that he prefers to give blessings. He said, quote, I give children happy dreams, general good health, and I want to make bureaucrats become more human. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's not going to curse them. Apparently, one of his other acts of wizardry, aside from rain dancing, um, is he was taken in a helicopter above um, 
a stadium while a rugby game was playing so that the that the home team would win <laughs> in New Zealand. And um, there he was. I've also seen people talking about online. He had a car that was a red Volkswagen Beetle, except it was if as if you took the two front halves of a car and put the two front halves together into a singular car. <laughs> so he has like all this crazy stuff, like this wacky vehicle. I love this so much. Like I, I wish, um, I don't know, it reminds me of home, like just these really weird, bizarre, little eccentric characters. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh here you God. can see him with his apprentice. That's his apprentice. That's his apprentice. Yes. What does he think about Harry Potter and stuff? Does he think he was? I don't know. Hmm. Can they like? Wait, there is a Harry Potter, you know, theme park. They should just hire him there. Actually, I don't know if they would do. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. is Harry Potter theme? Park part of the Universal Studios have that. Maybe they could get him there. I don't know. It, it would be against it. It would be bad for their branding if he has if he's like has sexist opinions. So I don't know. Anyways, he, sad, he sad. has a very interesting like life story, and um, it's pretty hilarious. Like he thinks of himself as similar to Socrates, whereas like your job is to go out and be the gadfly of society. And just like bother people <laughs> cause a little bit of like a rancor so like him making some not politically state correct like statements about women is like i feel like that's mm. par for the course <laughs> i feel like uh the hundred years from now we're gonna have you know an imam or a priest be kind of treated like somewhat of a you know so something like this like you know what i mean it's so ancient <laughs> that if somebody was like oh my god they actually have a priest like what a priest i thought you only get priests in stories you know what i mean like just like we have that with a wizard right now i'm That'd hoping, be like, so cool <laughs> <laughs> i'm like oh my god that's so cute he they, they they believe in god and stuff uh he thinks he's a priest oh my god it's just like in the books <laughs> in the past <laughs> yeah one day one day we're gonna see that hopefully True. anyways let me load up the next news all right can we clap for the next news definitely no wait reza i'm saying army stop making me believe in a good future no i will no. I, I will i will continue Guys, the future is going to be great. You have no idea. Better than you're imagining. Any, everything you're imagining about a utopian future, it's not going to be even as close as to what, what it's actually. Just think about it this way, okay? A hundred years ago, people looking at today, would they, with all the better health care, better life expectancy, child mortality, lower poverty, the technology that we have, if you if you went 100 years back and told them this is how much pro progress we're going to make there would be like no way probably like everything you're saying probably a thousand years from now definitely not 100 years from now right so given that the and and the progress is not just speeding it's not just speeding up it's actually the speed is speeding up so it's accelerating so probably we're going to see the same kind of progress that we saw in the past 100 years in less than 50 years in the future so just it's just going to be it's whatever if your mind our mind is going to be blown like even the things that i'm imagining it's going to probably suppress that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below